our first loss. This is a little Dorado. If the tail was intact, it'd be about three inches. You can see how thick it is, and it was feeding real well. I missed what happened. Um, it was out of the blue. Yesterday I came at night and I saw that its tail and the anal fin and there's this area around the anal fin were badly damaged. Repeatedly repeatedly bitten I would say. So I think this tail biting is a sign of dominance or a symptom of, of exerting dominance over somebody. And that's I'm pretty sure the Dorados is the, the the work of their other Dorados. Also, of course, we bought them as a golden Dorado, Salminos Brasiliensis. And Rod, when I asked him about the exact ID, he said um, Rod of Predatory Fins, that uh, he believes and he's told that only Brasiliensis are farmed because they grow bigger and are more friendly to each other. And nobody farms fr Franciscanos, Salminos Franciscanos. But then many people, hobbyists and, and peers, um, that kept Dorado and no Dorado, they tell me otherwise. They tell me that most of the Dorado we get are Franciscanos. And to get Brasiliensis, you'd have to go through a highly reliable vendor like Wesley Wong, or maybe others equally with an equal expertise but uh, one difference between Fran Frankies and Brassies is that Frankies are I'm told again are much much nastier to each other and you almost cannot can never keep them together successfully long term as opposed to Brazilianses which can be ca kept even in smaller groups like three With, moderate, with, with good success, so uh, again, what tells them apart for sure is the scale count. You have to count the scales along the red hole line, and the scales are small, so you have to take a good photograph and then count the scales to figure out which Dorado you got, and it's much better to be done at, at older ages and bigger sizes. On these little guys, I don't think it's even um, possible for me, like a, as an amateur, to try to do that. So we'll try it later, but uh, yeah, that's that's a bummer. That's our first loss in house, anyway. And I'm pretty sure they did it to to each other. That somebody of of these, or several of them, ganged up on that guy. I mean, this guy has a nipped lower lobe of the tail. Everybody else seems to have fine tails, even the smaller guys. Like this one is by far the smallest one, and he's okay. And man, they're lightning fast, as I said before. In current and out of current, they're, they're lightning fast. They love and they thrive in, in high current. Yeah, look at them go. All right, so that's our little update. The 12 or 1 are still okay. Some of them have tethered fins, but they're okay. And the phoenixes are also well. And the guy that had almost no tail has been growing his tail pretty good. It's almost it's almost complete. It's amazing. That's the small guy right right now in the front with a shorter tail. He he had almost no tail at all a week ago. was all torn off by, by the Dorados. Frankie O'Brassi. Now that has becoming a key question for me. Are we gonna keep losing them? Will we have to separate them out, like one, one per tank? We don't have so many tanks where we could keep small fish. 10 dividers, 
That I can do. But they will be miserable in such small space, probably. Decisions. 